new inductees, parents, family and friends, administration and faculty of the Warren Hills High School. I would like to welcome everyone to the Spring 2020 Virtual National Honor Society induction. I am Carmelo Kiera, an English teacher at the high school and the National Honor Society advisor. Today, in this video, we celebrate the accomplishments of 47 students in the class of 2021. Their dedication to scholarship, leadership, character, and service have awarded them the honor of becoming members of the Warren Hills Regional High School National Honor Society. We are truly proud of their achievements and gladly welcome them. Inductees, once you become members of the National Honor Society, your peers, as well as the entire Warren Hills High School community will look to you to be examples of high standards of character every moment of the day. Each one of you has different gifts and talents, which when used together can have a greater impact on our school, the community and the world. You are fortunate to have a network of support given to you by your parents and guardians, your friends and your family, administration and faculty of this school and the community in which you were raised. We hope that your involvement in NHS will encourage you to use your gifts of scholarship, leadership, service, and character to improve the world around you. And frankly, the world could use some improving right now. And on that note, the COVID-19 pandemic is going to force all of us to rethink how we serve our communities, whether that's remotely or in person. Times of great struggle often produce exceptional human acts of kindness. And it's likely that over the course of a year, you will find yourselves pushed to serve in new ways. Thankfully, there are 47 of you and a school network brimming with people ready to be there to support you and your efforts. There is strength in our numbers. To our new inductees, by becoming members of the National Honor Society, our hope for you is that you will continue to excel in scholarship and leadership, but that your true character will be developed by those things that you do for others and not for yourself. We trust that as you become involved in the National Honor Society, that you will feel challenged to grow personally and that you will be encouraged to explore and use your talents in ways you have never thought of before. We are excited that our impact as a group will increase tonight with the addition of our new members. Congratulations to all of our new inductees and welcome to the National Honor Society. Before we begin introducing each of the 47 new members you will hear from our current NHS student executives who are members of the class of 2020. They will each speak about one of the four pillars of NHS. First, you will hear about the history of the National Honor Society and about service from our president, Jordan Hightayan. Then secretary Phoebe Sessler will speak on leadership, treasurer Elizabeth Finnegan about character, and finally, vice president Paulina Gurguchis will speak about scholarship. Thank you. The National Honor Society was founded by Edward Ray Nearson in 1921. Ray Nearson was the principal of Fifth Avenue High School in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It was further established in 1921 by the National Association of Secondary School Principals. Ray Nearson became the first president of the NHS. The hope of Mr. Ray Nearson and the principals involved was to create an organization that would recognize and encourage academic achievement while also developing other characteristics essential to citizens in a democracy. These ideals of scholarship, leadership, service, and character remain as relevant today as they were in 1921. Chapters of the National Honor Society are found in all 50 states of the U.S., the District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, many U.S. territories, and Canada. By 1930, there were over 1,000 chapters of NHS. Today, there are more than 20,000. The official colors of the National Honor Society are blue and gold, and the official flower is the yellow rose. The society's motto is noblesse oblige, a French phrase which means nobility obligates, or nobility is an obligation. In broader terms, it signifies that those of high rank or ability have the obligation to behave honorably, generously, and responsibly to others. The honor candle, the center, center and tallest candle, represents the pillar on which all the others are judged. It is the key to scholarship, leadership, character, and service. Service is a demonstration of selflessness. It is the act of putting someone else before yourself to make their life a little bit better. Service is important because it makes the world a better place. 
By bringing up one person, we bring up our whole community. But sometimes between the homework, sports, clubs, and work, high school gets busy and it's not as convenient to find the time for service. It's easy to get caught up in everything going on in your life and lose sight of other people. You are all being honored today, not because you don't have busy schedules, but because you've built time into your busy schedules to help others. Through all the many commitments of high school, you've chosen to make service one of your priorities, and that is commendable. The world is always in need of help, and you are always ready to answer the call, whether it be food drives, park cleanups, or home repairs. These events are significant, not only because of the physical difference you've made, but also because of the relationships you've formed. Service helps us create friendships with those that we've helped. It brings our community closer together. It's people like you who inspire others to take action. You set a positive example for the rest of your student body. And when they hear about the differences you've made and see the relationships you've formed, they want to take part in helping others too. As Howard Zinn once said, small acts when multiplied by millions of people can transform the world. You're the one starting this ripple effect and through your work, you are changing the world. Thank you. None of you would be here tonight if you did not embody leadership with everything you do. When we think of leaders, we often think of great men and women, powerful figures who create great change nationally or globally. We don't think about the everyday leadership required to keep our small organizations moving and thriving, the very roots of our country. To be able to lead and make change, you do not have to be a household name, but rather a force for the people that you are leading. Leadership is not exclusive to grandeur, but is stipulated by commitment and vision. You can be a leader teaching young minds, engaging with peers in the classroom, and helping the community. Through communication, dedication, cooperation, and even admittance of failures, a leader helps the world. The world is not built by men and women who have started out great, but boys and girls who have worked to become leaders since high school in small but significant ways. You are the club leaders, tutors, managers, promoters, captains, and simply life cheerleaders who maintain the school and community as a beacon of light. Progress is dependent on taking action, exceeding expectations even in the everyday, and being a leader when the easier option would be to follow. It's harder to be the one often unnoticed for their everyday perseverance, hard work, and direction to others. Motivational speaker Robin S. Sharma sums it up best. Leadership is not about a title or a designation. It's about impact, influence, and inspiration. The inductees tonight are not meant to passively participate in life. Your active engagement shapes the next generation of young leaders, and I have no doubt that no matter what field everyone here goes into, it will be as a leader. You have all been leaders when the easier and safer option was to pass the responsibility to the next person, not question the status quo, or to go home and quit before even beginning. I want to thank you all in advance for being the future leaders that our world will depend on, and thank you right now for all that you do to guide and inspire daily. To get in the NHS, you all had to do a variety of forms. Some were colored pink, some were colored orange, and some were some other color I can't remember. Something pastel. As one of your requirements, you had three teachers fill out some pastel colored form that basically said, this kid here, this kid is a good kid. But what did that form really mean? Besides the fact that you got three adults to like you as a student. To have good character is not telling other people that you are good, but by simply being good. You do the kind actions without being asked or for want of praise. You see people in need and help them. You are the kids that stand up for others. You embody good character throughout, through your thoughts, deeds, and actions, not only in the classroom, but in everyday life. You are good characters not because you told us. You didn't write essays about how great you are and how you should be accepted. No, you let the record stand for itself. Everyone here who got inducted to NHS possesses the attributes of someone good. However, character isn't about realizing that you are a good person and secretly thinking that you're above everyone else. 
having good character is about recognizing our mistakes and admitting that yes, we are indeed not perfect. It is about trying our best to be good and to not accept that we've improved to the point of which we can stop. It is my hope that NHS inspires you to continue on with your own self-improvement as a member of the community and as a person. Use this opportunity to prove that those slips of paper were right. Ronald Reagan once said that there are no great limits to growth because there are no limits to human intelligence, imagination, and wonder. As new and current members of the National Honor Society, your academic achievements have been a stepping stool for your success. It is because of your leadership, service, character, and specifically your scholarship that you have been extremely successful in your high school careers. Your excellent academics have allowed for you to stand out from the majority of students. Your hard work and dedication in and out of school has set you up for further accomplishment and growth in your future. Due to your great scholarship, you are already in an excellent place. Your well-rounded qualities have put you in a place which will allow you to grow and continue to be successful. Students are often faced with a great amount of pressure in hopes of being a perfect, well-rounded high schooler. Whether it be clubs, sports, volunteering, jobs, or a multitude of extracurricular activities, it is easy to lose sight of a top priority, school. Despite all of the stress and overwhelming pressure, you have managed to not only focus on your schoolwork, but particularly excel. Despite having to balance a million things at once, your drive, commitment, and focus has allowed for you to thrive. The perseverance each of our NHS members exemplify is what will allow for accomplishments from the rest of your time in high school and beyond. I would like to personally congratulate each and every one of you on your acceptance into the National Honor Society. Your excellence in each of the four pillars of the National Honor Society will allow for great growth and achievement throughout your futures. This is a great achievement and one that you and your family should be very proud of. Thank you and congratulations again. Okay, big thank you to our student executives. They've had a, to weather a very strange year in NHS, but they've been so ready to go with the flow of a virtual induction. So thank you, Jordan, Liz, Paulina, and Phoebe. You guys have been awesome. In a moment, we are going to begin our induction of new members. First, we would like to acknowledge our National Honor Society Faculty Advisory Council, whoa, who have given their time to pour over NHS applications for hours in an effort to create the body of students being inducted tonight. Our Faculty Council for the Spring 2020 induction consisted of five Warren Hills teachers, Ms. Turner, Mrs. Nunnenkamp, Mr. Oakley, Mr. O'Brien, and Mrs. Nicolosi. We thank them for their efforts. As the new inductees are introduced virtually, there will be a short biography read about each one of them. Alexis Ann Amy. Alexis is a member of the softball team, junior executive, and is a junior peer leader. She volunteers at St. Luke's Hospital and as an assistant softball coach. Alexis plans to go to college to study along the path of pre-med. Alexis, Amy. Edwin Baden. While at Warren Hills, Edwin has earned honor and high honor roll, is a member of the school-based advisory board and the culinary club, and he volunteers at the student IT help desk. Outside of Warren Hills, he volunteers at his church leading the members in worship by playing the guitar and helps take care of the Sunday school children. Edwin plans to go to college to study computer science or electrical engineering. Edwin Baden. Kaylee Elizabeth Cagnasola. Kaylee is a member of the Drama Club, Best Buddies, Select Choir, and Rock and Pop at Warren Hills. She is a Freddie Award nominee in the category of Outstanding Performance by a Featured Dancer has competed in a nationwide ballet competition and won the Sarah Bradford Memorial Scholarship presented by the NJSDA. Kaylee is a dance teacher at her studio and hopes to go to college to become a professional dancer. Kaylee Cagnasola. Peyton Amelia Carter. Peyton has participated in the school's field hockey and lacrosse teams over the past years. She is a member of Junior Executive, helping plan events throughout junior year. She volunteers as an NFL flag football coach and a referee for young girls. 
Peyton enjoys the creative side of things, whether that includes painting, drawing, or any hands-on activities. She plans on going to college to study interior design. Peyton Carter. Taylor Liam Trung Chung. Taylor has been on the varsity tennis team for two years and is a member of the key and robotics clubs. Outside of school, he volunteers at the Hackettstown Medical Center. Taylor plans to go to college and study computer science. Taylor Chung. Edward James Conklin. Edward is a varsity athlete for the high school football, basketball, and track teams. He volunteers as an aide for his church's religious education program. He also gives his time to coach a local youth flag football team. He puts time into helping his community at the town's Habitat for Humanity. Edward plans to attend college and major in medical studies or engineering. Edward Conklin. Robert John Delgaccio. Robert is a veteran of the Warren Hills robotics and baseball teams and a captain on the swim team. He's earned several academic and athletic awards and has volunteered in the community at Hackettstown Hospital and as a volunteer teacher of the Bible at his church. Following high school, he plans to continue his volunteer work and to attend school to study aircraft technology and maintenance. Robert Delgaccio. Simran Desai. Simran is a member of both the track team and the field hockey team at Warren Hills. She also is a part of student council, junior executive, and the knitting club A Stitch in Time. Outside of school, she teaches field hockey to younger athletes as well as referees for the local recreational league. Her future plans include attending Hofstra University, where she recently verbally committed to play field hockey while pursuing a major in nursing. Simran Desai. Hannah Nicole DeVoe. Hannah is a three-year cheerleader, a two-year thrower for track and field, and the sports editor of The Streak, where she earned honorable mention for one of her articles. She is also a member of the Select Choir and Junior Executive Committee. Hannah volunteers as a recreational cheerleading coach and a volunteer classroom helper at an early learning and child care center. Hannah plans on attending college to study elementary education. Hannah DeVoe. Megan Duffner. Megan has been on the basketball team for three years and is also on the track and field team at Warren Hills. She is an executive board member in student council and the president of a Stitch in Time knitting club. Outside of school, she helps coach an AAU basketball team and volunteers at various places when there's time available. Megan plans to go to college and study education. Megan Duffner. Michael P. Fama III. Michael is a two-time cross-country MVP, an indoor track and field MVP, and earned first-team Skyland Conference Valley Division in cross-country. In addition, Michael has participated in the school's concert band and is now a member of Wind Ensemble. He volunteers with a local church group and is an Eagle Scout candidate in Troop 61 located in Stewartsville, New Jersey. His academic interests include biological sciences, and he will likely pursue a career in healthcare. Michael hopes to run cross country and track at the college level. Michael Fama. Catherine Michaela Fazari. Catherine is the secretary of the Key Club and a member of the Glamour Gals Club and Student Council. She also has been involved in sports at Warren Hills and is a two year member of the soccer team. Catherine plans to go to college to study nursing. Catherine Fazari. Carly Gabrielle Fisco. Carly is a three-year member of the Warren Hills Marching Band, as well as a member of the Drama Club. She is an executive member on the Student Council Board and a former state officer for the New Jersey Association of Student Councils. Carly plans to go to college for psychology after she graduates high school. Carly Fisco. Julia Francine Fox. Julia is a student athlete who plays on both the volleyball and softball teams. 
She is an officer for Glamour Gals and is a part of Girls Coding with Girls and Computer Science at Warren Hills. Julia plans to go to college on a medical track. Julia Fox. Carly Louise Friedman. Carly is a member of numerous clubs, including Student Council and Street Nation. She volunteers as a recreational soccer coach and assists with fundraising for the Hudson County Police Benevolent Association that benefits the families of fallen officers and others in need. In addition to volunteering, she plays a vital role in her family's dog breeding business. After high school, Carly plans to attend college to study nursing. Carly Friedman. Danielle Gilbert. Danielle is a two-year member of the Warren Hills Drama Club and has performed in three shows over those years. She is also a competitive dancer and has been dancing since she was four years old. She plans to go to college to study either the performing arts or something related to the STEM field. Danielle Gilbert. Emily Catherine Gilligan. Emily has been a member of Drama Club, Student Council, Best Buddies, and all levels of choir since her freshman year of high school, including serving in multiple different capacities across several stage productions. Emily has been on the executive boards of both Best Buddies and Student Council, serving as secretary on the latter. Outside of school, Emily has directed the middle school's Drama Club, been a member of NJMEA All-State Trouble Choir, participated in many community theater shows, and is currently a junior counselor at a summer camp, LTC. Emily plans on furthering her education by studying theater studies with a concentration in education in college. Emily Gilligan. Brielle Lorelei Gonzalez. Brielle is a varsity soccer player who earned first team all conference this year, as well as a varsity basketball player. She is a member of Student Council, Best Buddies, and Peer. Brielle volunteers as an EMT and is captain of her under-19 women's elite development program soccer team. She plans to go to college to study in a pre-med related field. Brielle Gonzalez. Simeon Seth Goretzi. Simeon is a member of Chess Club and SAVE and a part of the robotics programming team and the tennis team at Warren Hills. Outside of Warren Hills, he is involved in the New Jersey Royal Ranger Advancement Academy, of which he is a graduate. Simeon plans to attend college and study in a STEM field. Simeon Goretzi. Walker Samuel Heller. Walker has been on the executive board of student council every year of his high school career. Walker is on the boys' soccer team, is a member of Drama Club and Select Choir, and plays the oboe in Win Ensemble at Warren Hills. He is in Teams for Kids and is a high school ambassador for the program. He is a black belt in Ishin Ryu Karate, where he helps to teach classes as an assistant instructor. Walker also volunteers as a student teacher at his synagogue. Walker plans to attend college to study biology. Walker Heller. Kayla Sierra Huggins. While at Warren Hills, Kayla sings in the school's select choir and utilizes her talent to perform at fundraising galas, church congregations, and nursing homes. Kayla has committed much of her time to working with young kids, early teens, and the elderly. She shares her skills as a singles varsity tennis player, mentoring children in a recreational tennis program. She dedicates many weekends as a counselor to young pathfinders, encouraging discipline and developing skills. She has traveled abroad where she helped young students perfect their English. Kayla's desire to help others is a reason why she wants to pursue a career in healthcare after graduating from Warren Hills. Kayla Huggins. Ava Renee Johnston. At Warren Hills, Ava is lead trombone of jazz ensemble and secretary of Wind Ensemble, a member of Marching Band and the Pitt Orchestra. She has participated in several other clubs throughout the years, including the Chess Club and SAVE. Ava plans to go to college to study in a STEM-related field. Ava Johnston.
Grace Jordan. While at Warren Hills, Grace has been a volunteer coach for Warren Hills Junior Lacrosse. After high school, she plans to go to college to study nursing and diabetic endocrinology. Grace Jordan. Joey Thomas Killick. Joey is an executive officer of Key Club at Warren Hills and a three-year member of the marching band. Outside of Warren Hills, he is a four-year volunteer at Hackettstown Medical Center. Joey plans to go to college to major in accounting. Joey Killick. Sarah Ann Korzakowski. Sarah is a captain of the field hockey team a member of Computer Science at Warren Hills and Debate Club. She has been recognized as a state winner by the National Center for Women in Information and Technology and was the Hunterdon Warren Sussex Tournament MVP for field hockey. She is a mentor for Girls Coding with Girls and helps run Coding with Kids, the Lego Summer Robotics Camp, and at other Computer Science at Warren Hills events. Sarah is committed to play Division I field hockey at Rutgers University and plans on studying aerospace engineering. Sarah Korzakowski. Emily Marie Vovassi. Emily is a three-year varsity lacrosse player, president and creator of the Teams for Kids Club, treasurer of Glamour Gals, and a junior peer leader, all at Warren Hills. She volunteers as a recreational lacrosse coach, and she is an ambassador for the Teams for Kids Foundation. Emily plans to study kinesiology in college and work in the medical field. Emily Kovassi. Daniel Custer. Daniel has been a member of the robotics team at Warren Hills, as well as serving as a tutor. Outside of school, he is an Eagle Scout in Troop 154. Daniel plans to go to Rutgers, New Brunswick to study pre-med in order to eventually go to a medical school. Daniel Custer. Richard John Lewis. Richard is a two-year captain of the varsity lacrosse team and a member of the football team at Warren Hills, where he has also earned Student of the Month honors. He volunteers with the Big Brothers Big Sisters Club of North Jersey. Richard plans to go to college to study accounting. Richard Lewis. Samantha Ann Lewis. While at Warren Hills, Samantha has been head of costumes and served as treasurer of the drama club, and this year, she was the backstage coordinator. She helped lead the national school walkout her freshman year, and in her sophomore year, won an honorable mention at Harvard Model Congress. It is her goal to present a case in front of the Supreme Court, so after high school, she plans on studying political science and law with her dream career to be a civil rights attorney for the American Civil Liberties Union and focus on First Amendment rights. From there, she would like to get into politics and be a congresswoman for a few years before eventually running for president. Samantha Lewis. Sophie Patricia Martin. Sophie is a member of computer science at Warren Hills and Girls Coding with Girls. Outside of school, she volunteers regularly at her church. After Warren Hills, she plans to go to, to college to study in a STEM field. Sophie Martin. Emily Susan Matthew. Emily is a member of the school tennis team and is a part of Girls Coding with Girls and DECA, attending state competitions for the latter. She is also an active member of her church's youth group and volunteers at Hackettstown Medical Center. She plans to go to college to study in a STEM-related field. Emily Matthew. Emma Catherine Neely. Emma is a captain of the swim team and vice president of Key Club. She is a mentor for Girls Coding with Girls and is a member of the track team, computer science at Warren Hills, debate, and Best Buddies Clubs. She also volunteers as a teacher's aide for her church. Emma plans to go to college to study biomedical engineering or physician assistant studies. Emma Neely. Jalen Renee Miller. Jalen is a three-year varsity softball player and three-year basketball player 
member of student council and FFA, and has earned athletic and academic awards throughout her years in high school. She volunteers as a recreational soccer and basketball coach. Jalen plans to go to college to study health and physical education. Jalen Miller. Julia Elizabeth Monaco. Julia is the business captain of the robotics team, a member of the tennis team, debate club, and computer science clubs. This year, she earned an award from the National Center for Women in Information and Technology for her aspirations in computing. Julia plans to go to college to pursue a career in a business or engineering field. Julia Monaco. Nikolai Osatsia. Nikolai is a high school honor student who is the vice president of finance for DECA and has received multiple certifications and awards for his efforts in business. He has also been a part of the winter track and field team and volunteers in club and church related activities in his free time. After high school, Nikolai plans to go to college to study in a finance related field. Nikolai Osatsia. Marissa Lee Parker. Marissa is a three-year member of many clubs and activities at Warren Hills, including the Blue Streak Marching Band, of which she was a section leader and soloist for the 2019 season, Select Choir, Rock and Pop, Key Club, and a Stitch in Time Club, and a two-year member of the Pitt Orchestra. She is also a peer tutor and plans to study biomedical sciences in college. Marissa Parker. Emily Schlesinger. Emily is involved in the character development and leadership program, as well as teams for kids at Warren Hills. She also is on the field hockey team, swim team, and lacrosse team. Emily volunteers as a coach with the field hockey and lacrosse recreational programs in her community. After high school, she will be majoring in secondary science education. Emily Schlesinger. Megan Page Sargent. Megan has been elected as a vice president for DECA and made states two years in a row. She has lettered in soccer and lacrosse and has volunteered at Habitat for Humanity. Megan and her family helped raise over $7,000 for the Danny Schaefer Foundation by organizing a soccer fundraiser. She graduated with a liberal arts associate's degree from Warren County Community College in May of 2020 and is a member of the Phi Theta Kappa Collegiate Honor Society. Megan plans on going to college to study political science and computer science, and then to pursue a career in environmental law. Megan Sargent. Emma Francis Sloan. Emma is drum major of the Blue Streak Marching Band, executive member of Save Club, and a member of the robotics team. She is involved in the Stone Soup Symphony in Hackettstown and the Warren Hills Jazz Band. After high school, she wants to go to college to pursue a career in STEM. Emma Sloan. Summer Jane Sazansky. Summer is stat girl for the wrestling team and she volunteers in her church food pantry as well as in the nursery. She also assists elders with gardening and volunteers as a recreational lacrosse coach. Summer plans to continue her education in pre-med and business. Summer Sazansky. Julia Elizabeth Teets. Julia is president of the Culinary Club, a member of the Debate Club, and DECA. She received the Instructional Award for Financial Services Team Decision Making at the 2020 State Conference for DECA. Julia spends her summer volunteering at summer elementary school programs. She plans to go to college to pursue a career in a business field. Julia Teets. Francis Lynette Tenike. Francis is involved in the computer science and debate clubs and is a mentor in Girls Coding with Girls. She also participates in the mock trial. She plans to go to college to become a mechanical engineer engineer, and then patent attorney. Francis Tenike. Isabella Eileen Tarek. Isabella is currently treasurer of Key Club 
and is also a member of computer science at Warren Hills. She has participated in both Girls Coding with Girls as well as Coding with Kids. Outside of school, she spends her time working and volunteering at the library. After high school, she plans to go to college and into a STEM-related career. Isabella Carrick. Madison Ray Truglio. Madison has participated in student council and best buddies. She has volunteered at a kennel and has helped babysit kids during the summer and on weekends. She is also employed at Dunkin' Donuts and works throughout the week and on weekends. She plans to go to college after high school to pursue being an engineer and expand her knowledge in the STEM field. Madison Truglio. Juliana Grace Valley. Juliana is the social media director for Best Buddies and a member of the junior executive board at Warren Hills. She is a varsity letter winner for both the Warren Hills field hockey and lacrosse teams and was named athlete of the year in her freshman year. She is a part of the New Jersey Stars Club field hockey team where she competes all over the East Coast. She volunteers her time at church doing floral arrangements, helps with summer recreation at Mansfield Elementary School, and is a statistician for the varsity wrestling team. She currently works as a physical therapy aide at Synergy Physical Therapy in Hackerstown, New Jersey. She has verbally committed to Ithaca College to play field hockey. She plans to major in physical therapy and then become a pediatric physical therapist. Juliana Valley. Morgan Emily Warmoth. At Warren Hills, Morgan is a student athlete who participates in volleyball, and she is also a member of DECA and the Team for Kids Club. She volunteers every year as a recreational flag football coach and referee. Morgan plans to attend her dream school, Florida State University, to major in accounting. Morgan Warmoth. Paul Zukowski. Paul, a recreational soccer coach from Mansfield, volunteers as a camp counselor and also volunteers at a hospital. He has received three research publications through Rutgers and plans to go to college to study dentistry. Paul Zukowski. Now, will all Warren Hills National Honor Society members please rise in the comfort of wherever you are watching this and repeat the National Honor Society pledge with me. I pledge to uphold the high purposes of the National Honor Society to which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles to which it stands. I will be loyal to my school and will maintain and encourage high standards of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. Okay, you can sit back down now. To close out the ceremony, I would like to speak first to our new inductees, families, and friends. The concepts of leadership, service, character, and scholarship are not just reserved for members of the National Honor Society. These are qualities that should be cultivated in all of us. As you encourage your inductee to pursue honorable attributes, we ask that you continue to be an ideal they can strive to be more like. New inductees, you heard words of wisdom from your own peers. We encourage you to regularly review and practice the four pillars presented by our four student executives. From all of us in National Honor Society, thank you for watching our virtual induction ceremony. I'd like to thank our faculty council as well our administrators for their support, as well as our Board of Education. To our new members from the class of 2021, congratulations and welcome to the National Honor Society.